Good day. I think it's good right now. Things are happening that I really like. I'll give you an example. This was a statement from the Green Party, Isabella Levine. You know, they are very desperate. They might not even get into Parliament in this uh, September election in Sweden. So when you're desperate, you, you make mistakes, don't you? And maybe you become delusional, because this is what she said. Uh, she claims that it's highly unlikely that our children will survive. And of course, she's talking about the climate change. And maybe there are some fools who believe this, maybe. But the, most of us understand that she's delusional. Yeah, and she's desperate. And I think the lefties are getting more and more stupid. Yeah. And the, the nationalists are going in the other direction, I think. I don't know if this is so, but that's what I observe. Well, the nationalists are becoming more vocal, absolutely. Yeah. Boris Johnson. This was a funny thing, I think. And I like what's going on in the UK. I really do. It's such an important nation. It's important for all of us what's going on in the UK. And if the nationalists in the UK are more vocal, uh, it's very good for all of us. So Boris Johnson said that these women wearing a burqa, they look like letterboxes <laughs> or bank robbers. Well, that's a gutsy thing to say. It's not politically correct. Well, they do. They do look like uh, letterboxes, don't they? So he's right. And then something else happened, you know. Theresa May demanded that he should apologize. And I think this is a good thing too. Because that's her camp. That's her side of it. And it becomes very clear, you know. She's not for freedom of speech. She demands him to apologize. I think it's beautiful. And uh, I heard that he will not, he's not going to apologize, which I think is brilliant. And then there is this uh, no deal, this is very exciting, yeah. the chances of a no deal, in, I'm talking about Brexit of course, the no deal between the UK and Brussels, the chances are increasing. Yeah, it's getting late and I, I can't see, well I can see that this is going to be a no deal. I think it's very possible and it would be a fantastic thing. Yeah. And I, I read this Jacob Rees-Mogg, I don't understand why he's not the PM, he should be. And here's another one who's becoming more and more vocal. Yeah. So this is what he said. I always thought and I still believe that Brexit was positive economically and psychologically for the nation. Look at Singapore, South Korea and Japan who all do well on their own. He said that Japan has the same usable landmass as the UK and a comparable per capita GDP. He added, we are better making decisions for ourselves than having other people making them for us. Yeah. If Britain fails to reach a deal with the EU bloc, then the default position on leaving would be World Trade Organization rules. And he says, we can immediately cut tariffs on goods from outside the EU, giving us an automatic boost. This is not something to be afraid of, and certainly not the cataclysmic outcome some people think, because it will make people's pounds go further. We'd be free to import goods from outside the EU that we think are of higher quality, like champagne from California, not France. Countries all over the world run their own affairs and are not part of an equivalent EU, he added. The EU is a falling economic model. 
Britain has been one of the leading countries in the world for half a millennia because of our ingenuity and capabilities, not because we, are, we have been led by bureaucrats. The EU has held us back. That's what he said. This is brilliant. I also liked some, something that I was watching the other day. You know, Tommy Robinson uh, was getting out of prison. And um, there was this pathetic journalist who tried to interview, interview him as he was leaving the prison. Yeah, and Tommy Robinson said to him, I have things to say, but not to you. This is beautiful. So I really like what's going on in the UK. I have uh, high hopes for this. And we certainly need it. The UK has the lead away. Yeah. Strong people, strong nation. Please, do this. Right. And it's a comment by Tommy Robinson. Yes, it's very pretty. And it shows, you know, these guys, these lefty journalists are on their way out. Less and less are listening to them. And more and more people are listening to alternative media. And guys like Tommy Robinson. So, yeah, I like it. Okay, bye.